Hey everybody, Ron Bielefeld, Whistling Wings Photography. This morning, a short video, I hope, on the Canon R5. Uh, I feel compelled to do the video I'm doing this morning based on some comments I'm getting back from some of my other videos about the Canon R5, and that the electronic viewfinder has too much lag in it to be able to track fast-moving subjects in either electronic shutter or in mechanical shutter. And so this morning, what I want to do, I'm going to try to do anyway, is attach an external recorder to the R5 and show you basically what the viewfinder's seeing and, and what it does and how it reacts when we shoot at 20 frames per second electronic shutter, 12 frames per second uh, mechanical shutter, and you can see for yourself the, the EVF lag, right? The electronic viewfinder lag and whether or not you can track fast moving subjects. Now I'm going to have to do this looking at the actual recorder, back of the recorder, because when you attach an external recorder to the to the Canon R5, you can't shoot through the viewfinder. So this is going to be a little tricky, but I'm going to give it a chance uh, here and I'm going to give it a try and we'll see what we can do. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping you're going to see that there's really not an electronic viewfinder lag that will keep you from doing basically any kind of uh, fast action photography that you want to do uh, in electronic um, shutter or in mechanical shutter. And so if you're interested in seeing how this all turns out, stay tuned. Okay, Canon R5 and electronic viewfinder lag, and I've had people contact me in various ways saying there's a problem, and it makes it difficult to stay on birds in flight, for example. And so what I wanted to do is show some video here shortly that was basically recording of the electronic viewfinder from the R5 using with the 100 to 500 uh, attached plus the 1.4 times teleconverter so we're shooting 700 millimeters for the most part here and had an Atomos Ninja 5 attached to the R5 so that we so I could record the what the viewfinder uh, was seeing and so I want to I want you all to keep that in mind right it, when you see me struggling to stay on you know a flying bird in, in these clips coming up you can hopefully understand that it's not so easy to to stay on flying birds when you can't look through the viewfinder when you're having to look at the screen of the external recorder. So, with that in mind, uh, if you if you're like me and and you take a look at these video clips, you can see that there's really not a whole lot, if any, uh, lag in the electronic viewfinder. I've, these clips are both mechanical shutter settings and also electronic shutter setting. But really it doesn't matter whether you're shooting the electronic shutter in 20 frames per second or if you're shooting the mechanical shutter in 12 frames per second. I really don't experience any lag that keeps me from being able to stay on a flying bird. And I'm shooting what I consider some pretty difficult uh, subjects. Diving kingfishers, diving ospreys, things like that. None of that in, in these clips, of course, because, yeah, right, try staying on <laughs> try staying on those looking at the back of an external recorder instead of looking through the viewfinder. But I guess that's a point, right, that kind of drives the point home here, is that if I can stay on any kind of flying bird, or if anybody can, looking at the, you know, the back of an external, or the screen of an external recorder, there really shouldn't be any problem at all when you're looking through the viewfinder, and to me that, that's telling me that the electronic viewfinder is performing fine. Uh, there are settings, of course, that uh, can, can affect how the viewfinder behaves, and you know, I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of detail on that here. That's a discussion for, for another place in time settings for the R5, and I already have videos uh, covering that on my YouTube channel, so please take a look at those if you're interested. 
but you know for me lag in an electronic viewfinder isn't isn't like oh it, it it looks a little funny when i'm taking pictures or whatever compared to to my naked eye which you you do see that but lag to me is if you're taking a burst of images say 20 20 frames per second for a couple you know until the buffer fills which is a lot of you know these these sequences that i'm shooting here and you don't fall behind the bird because you know as the, as you take more images if there's a lag that lag in time builds up right and pretty soon you can't stay on the bird anymore you physically cannot do it it's just impossible well that doesn't happen with the r5 in the electronic viewfinder if no matter if you're shooting the electronic shutter at 20 frames per second or if you're shooting the the mechanical shutter at 12 fr frames per second uh, you can stay on birds just fine uh, so you know I don't really know what more I can show or say to convince people that the electronic viewfinder lag is is not an issue with the R5. Now there are things that if you start dialing down the frames per second in the mechanical shutter or if you have battery power that gets to a certain level 50 percent or less or if you're shooting older lenses and things like that that don't give you the full 12 frames per second the behavior of the electronic viewfinder on the r5 can get a little funky and and that's for sure and that can affect to a point uh, your ability to stay on fast moving subjects but when everything's working the way it should uh, or can at its maximum and and you know just like with a lot of other things you got to make sure that you're that that's what you've got going for you there especially when you're trying to track birds in flight uh it's it's very very uh good especially when you take into account the fact that the R5 is is producing 45 megapixel images at 20 frames per second or 12 frames per second depending on which shutter mode you're you're in now you can you know people are comparing you know the people that are contacting me are comparing uh, you know the R5 performance to the Sony A9 and A92 and sure go ahead and do that i mean 20 frames per second electronic on the A9 but it's only shooting 24 megapixel images and the viewfinder as well isn't as high a resolution so for me what I'm getting and what I can do with the Canon R5, 45 megapixel images, looking through a viewfinder that is really pretty uh, when you look through it and, and the resolution is great so you can pretty much do whatever you, you want to do. Uh, I'm super happy with the performance of this camera at this point and it's going to probably get even better as time goes on with firmware updates and, and things like that. So, yeah, I, I'm not going to you know belabor this discussion much much more uh, I just hope as I can when you look at these video clips even though they're not the greatest but they're about as good as I'm going to be able to do when when you're trying to record the viewfinder you can see that you know the electronic viewfinder lag really isn't an issue when when you've got the camera performing the way it can perform and if some people still disagree or are having trouble you know let's you know make you know leave some comments and and we'll we'll see what we can do about you know broaching this this subject about some people having problems and other people uh having really good experiences and performance uh with the with this camera as far as the electronic viewfinder is concerned because that's one of the great values of 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 these types of forums is to to get ideas out there and we can discuss in the in there you know some things about settings and and stuff that i use not that there's anything special uh but the settings of the camera can make a difference so anyway hopefully uh this helps some people that have been reading or hearing about electronic viewfinder lag in the R5 and, it, and they're hesitating getting this camera, uh, I wouldn't hesitate to get it. Uh, I'm having a great time shooting it and it's producing some awfully nice images for me. So with that, uh, happy holidays to everybody and get out there and take some pictures and overall be safe and I'll see you soon.